Body ho, here comes the big project. We're going to ceramic coat the pipe. We're going to take this pipe off and then send it to power coat in Selby, the Johannesburg CBD. I told the guy what I want is, well, to keep the heat in check. So he recommended inside and outside to be coated in ceramic. And I chose black because, let's face it, chrome isn't going to look good on this thing. We're going to go for the real stuff. None of that fake wrapping and fake carbon fiber. Yeesh. By the way, big shout out to my friend Paul. Gifted me this little set. That was clever. Oh, well. New. Ugh. Welcome to my channel. This sort of idiocy is normal. We hope you enjoy your stay. Oof. Ah, yeah. As that goes. Anyway. Nice little piece of kit. Even better than the Bosch one. And it's a limited edition. Which basically means pay more for a different thing. Okay. So, how we do this. I'm quite surprised how the body panels pop off. Literally. Pop one. Uh, undo a screw here. Uh, undo a screw there, which holds this one. Undo those two screws. And you have got access to this little bastard. Which i got to say, damn, baby, you have got a fat one. Mmm. Okay. Jokes aside, what else do we have to do? So I'm going to loosen this. Hopefully I can get away with without touching these springs because these are a nightmare. If you want to lose an eyeball or a testicle, you mess with these. So we're going to loosen this. If I can, maybe take the clamp off. Is this Akropovich? It could be. I'll send that along for coating as well. Uh, what else? This looks like a clamp we have to take off. Yeah, that's right. And then obviously we still have to take off the da -da -da -da, O2 sensor or exhaust sensor. So it's not bad. And then we just have to remove all the plastic bits, uh, rubber bits. Make sure all the extras are loose. Wrap it up and send it there. Guy said it takes about two to three days, so we should have it done today's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay, by Friday, if uh, you believe in miracles in South Africa. So, let's continue. My member was the key. Yeah, ah, ah, ah. Only a bloody Dutchman. Another gold member reference. These uh, seems to be coming quite often. Groovy. We're going to be lazy. We're going to leave that on. We're just going to take the clasp, also to be ceramic coated. And we are not going to start the engine now because I do not want to be gelded by a mob of angry villagers because I woke them up at 10 o'clock at night. Thank you. I don't need pitchforks. And quite frankly, what was it? The burning torches? Well, that's normal in South Africa because, you know, ESCOM and load shedding. Hopefully nobody has pitchforks anymore. Well, actually, no, they would have pitchforks, but they would have no idea to use it because this is a white neighborhood and all the gardeners have gone home already. Yeah, that's racist. So sue me. Let's continue. Spanish size is an 18. And do yourself a favor, put some penetrating fluid on there. I use Q5, which is graphite based, burns off well as well as applying some there. So you start from the back, start to the front, everything will be easy to take off. Again, I know this because this is close to factory as it is. Speaking of fucking factory, I don't know what it is, okay? The uh, muffler was not torqued down to spec. I mean, I could loosen it by hand. So whoever fitted that one, I sincerely hope you become a tampon in your next life. And there we go. Done. Yeah. Note, two copper nuts and a spacer that was on top. And then, uh, let's have a look. Uh, hi, daddy. There we go. Hello. Anybody in there? Any Syrian immigrants in there? No? Yeah. Okay. Good. I guess the boat hasn't arrived yet. 
Right, while we do that, what are we going to do? We're going to add some copper slip to the threads for NTCs for later. And we are going to take whatever spare part uh, we can send to be ceramic coated. We're going to high heat coat that uh, in the meantime, such as the nuts, you know, the brackets, uh, threads, whatever else there is, as well as the bracket that holds the muffler slash silencer, this one. Just going to tape up the rubber and give that a nice coat so it'll look more uniform because uh, I don't know. Acroprovich, if this is your, you know, the way you supply it, it's, this could be done better. I mean, really, this looks like shit. Yeah. Never mind. Cool. So let's send that candy cane for ceramic coating. Hopefully, part two. We'll have everything back together. And in the meantime, to make sure that we take care of this thing, we're gonna wash it down, obviously not the inside, and give it a quick layer of Carnuba wax, just to polish it up, prevent the stains. Obviously not on the heat, because that will create um, some fumes. Part two coming up. And there we go, ceramic coated exhaust header. Beautiful, heat shield, same story. Upgrade came today in the post. Nice. And solid rear brake cylinder uh, reservoir. So we'll be fitting all of that. Let's put this thing on. Okay, I'm not too happy with myself, although I should blame Husqvarna, but this is my fault. In the manual, it says that these prongs, they're supposed to be the other side. That's how the diagram is. In reality, those two rubber spacers, they're back here. They're not in front. If they're in front, you won't line up this hole. Then, this pipe has got a lot of flex on it, so you've got to push that in. So what I did, you first take this bracket, and you put it in between there, you tighten the bolt so it doesn't move. Then, take this bolt, push that in there. With your shoulder, lift the tank, push that in, tighten, tighten, tighten all the way, and then start tightening one two and then also have this here as a guide so you know that this won't move as much <sighs> but it looks fucking insane doesn't it okay i know what you're all waiting for let's start this up contact <laughs> I don't need a hearing aid anymore, that's for certain. Okay, let's put the rest of the stuff on. There we go. One big black fat pipe. It's coming together well. Yeah. Reservoir. Tusk lever. Oh, this is solid. It's a solid piece of engineering. Beautiful. Pity about the color. You can't take this tip off. Else that has to go off that. Take the anodizing off. Yeah, never mind. It'll work. All right. And that's how you uh, ceramic coat your header. <laughs> Not really impressive, huh? Yeah, I know. As for the indicators, uh, slimline, not just that big fat pipe on the side. And obviously, smaller license plate, that's coming shortly. Hopefully, within the next week or so, the Rottweiler kit is going to come, plus aluminum tank flap, plus SAS removal, and the carbon filter removal kit. I mean, really, why must I have that on? So, that's going to free up a lot of space. This thing is going slimmer and slimmer. Right, till next time.